we have the dirty buster set up. Now we're gonna work on we're gonna change the texture ID on my on my dragon buster so you can use it with this setup. This weapon looks kind of bland. It looks like a pocket knife compared to Cloud's other swords. So I'm gonna switch that one out for for my dragon buster. Unfortunately, my dragon buster also uses texture ID too. I didn't look into this before I made it, and now I'm a little smarter. But here you go. We got because when you be using Millennia's models for a lot of these, it frees up all these. I already used texture ID five for Slayer's Buster Sword because of, because of that request. So I'm gonna set up the texture ID six. And to do that, we're going to go in the bid turn. I'm already in my Dragon Buster folder. But but we're going to convert RTCT to a 3DS. Successfully converted. I go up here to RTAE can't work with it, bid turn just doesn't know how. So we're gonna open up our brow our file browser, we're gonna go into the Dragon Buster folder. We're gonna copy, paste it, make a new one. We're gonna call it a dot text. Now we have a dot text file that works in Chimera, but we still don't have a bitmap that works in, in P Creator. So, I'm going to go back here, I'm going to use image to text, I forgot to include it earlier in my video, but you, d you do need it. Um, you can get it on the big list of mods, but you open this up, mass convert, uh, I think it's the easiest way to go about it. Um, you're looking for a text file. There's your that RTAE, the text file for the Dragon Buster. Open. It processed successfully. So back here in the Dragon Buster folder, we have a, we have a 3DS and a bitmap that we can work with P Creator, and we have a, a dot text that can work in Chimera. So, we're going to go back here, open up P Creator, open, we're going to use that 3DS of the Dragon Buster, I'm going to zoom this out just so it doesn't bother my eyes, alright, we're going to select it, battle model, UV coordinates, we're going to flip that on the Y axis. We're going to open that, open the bitmap, which is this one here. And now we're going to, now we're going to change the texture ID. Alright, so, we're already using 5 for a Slayer's Buster Sword. And I'm not going to be using Slayer's weapons for these, so 6 is available. I'm going to change that to 6. Hit OK. File. Save as. I'm going to go to my new setup. I'm going to replace the old RTCT. Hit X. Back to Chimera. I'm going to go to my new setup. I'm going to open RTAA again just to refresh it. Alright, and of as you can see, here's, here's Slayers. Dirty Buster Sword. I forgot to save the changes, so gonna fix this quick. 
going to resize it to 10 again. 10, 10. Rotate it on the x-axis, on the z-axis, 180 degrees. Apply changes. It's all good. And that's RTCK. So RTCK. Save. Yes, I write it. Hit X. All right, now I have to re-add the texture just because I was uh, I was a little ignorant. I forgot to forgot to add that. So I'm gonna look for that text file that I saved in here. Voila, we have we have thirties. We have Slayer's Dirty Buster Sword back. Alright, so you can see my swords absolutely humongous again. Just want to go down 10, 10, 180. It's all good. And we need to add a texture here. And we have the texture saved in the Dragon Buster folder. There's that texture file. There, looking all pretty. And just so I don't, just so we don't mess up what I did with what we did earlier we're gonna save our, we're, when we save the model when we hit save model up here in the top right it saves any changes you made so like any weapon model changes any adding any textures any model changes here texture changes so go to my new setup I'm gonna overwrite it so that way when I open it reopen it to refresh it, it doesn't doesn't jack everything up.